Hi Virgo, this is Shah, and welcome back to the channel. If you're a cyber angel, and if you're a new viewer, welcome to the channel, and I hope you will enjoy the readings. Please subscribe and hit the bell, then you'll be notified when I go live or when new videos are loaded up. If you'd like a one-on-one -on -one, uh, reading, then you can find the information below this video in the description box, or you can click on this little white circle and it will take you to the website. There you can find interviews, reviews, uh, you can see what uh, different readings there are on offer, and also uh, the life coach aspect that I do and I'm busy with. Okay, so this is your reading Virgo for the 11th to the 17th of May 2020. I'm using the Spirit Animal Oracle deck and I'm using the Vice Versa deck and the Wildwood Tarot deck and the Surrender deck. So uh, let's get started. This is what I why it's called the Vice Versa. And you've got this side and you've got that side. <coughs> now you've got the reverse side and uh, the Five of Wands means uh, it's competition, there might be disagreements, but to me it's usually the competition, usually you find a group of young people um, <coughs> uh, joisting, and here you are, they're ready to get the fight, and here you are, it can be explosive. So what I would say, stay away from other people's drama, stay away um, if uh, forewarned is forearmed, arguing uh, arguing doesn't really uh, help anybody. But if it's a healthy competition, then fine, go for it, go into action. It can be very explosive. And I think this is I love I love this card. I love the colours in these cards, and it's a volcano that is exploding. So in other words, I see there could be something an explosion between you and somebody else but like I said forewarned is forearmed but if it's healthy competition it is fine then you have the six of cups and it's come out quite a bit this week so far and that means that somebody from the past might be coming back Virgo and be bringing you a gift or you might be reminiscing about the past. You might be reminiscing about competition or about a potential disagreement or a fight or a sudden explosion. Or perhaps uh, you know somebody's coming back from the past and you are afraid that there might be an explosion. And like I said, this is not really the Five of Swords, this is the Five of Wands. So this could be, boom, an explosion of love because perhaps in the past there was competition and that could be exciting and I think those that it resonates with you will know what I mean so you might somebody might be coming back from the past in the past could be yesterday or 10 minutes ago so somebody but literally this could be somebody from your childhood or your younger years uh, let's hypothetically, somebody ha was in a relationship with somebody else and um, you had an explosion with them, you had an argument, you wanted, their, you wanted to capture their heart because they had captured your heart, but they said no, 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 blah, 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 and I'm staying with this person, but now they're free and they're thinking of you and they're coming towards you to revisit you and they might be bringing a bunch of flowers or a box of chocolates and now you go there could be another explosion all of a sudden they say I love you I want to be with you that could be the explosion explosion of um, uh, 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 telling you uh, that they love you and that they were wrong so all the explosion could be that you said no nope, I'm not going there I'm not going to have an argument. You're not welcome. I leave the past the past. So you know what I mean? That is um, what the past could be. Okay. On Wednesday you have the four. The 
four of swords this side it means that there is an old king tired uh, of all the fighting that he's done and every battle that he's been in he's used a different sword and when he comes back he hangs the sword as a trophy on the wall it is time to let somebody else do the fighting and the battling and this side it means he's so tired he can still see the wars going on and he's just leaving uh, it over to the other generation the younger generation he can't do anything anymore and basically that is what it all it means on both sides but one this is a gentler side um, like giving not giving up but passing it on to the next generation and this side means giving up you know you've done all you can and you letting it happen but the four of sword also means meditation deliberation contemplation and evaluation so that's the time on uh, Wednesday perhaps you want to deliberate or contemplate on what has happened in earlier on in the week then we have the nine of vessels the nine of cups your dreams and goals are coming true and it is generosity your wish is coming true <coughs> excuse me and th in this deck in the the wild wood it says generosity and like I said there might be a reunion with somebody from the past or there could be a reunion from f a family and friends especially in this time because we have been unable to see each other and perhaps you were wishing um, that uh, from somebody from the past to come back or for a reunion so your wish will be fulfilled now you've got the two of swords this side means that she doesn't know what's going on around her she's um, she's got her heart crossed and her heart is closed her solar plex is closed she's deep in thought and um, the red sword means um, the earthly things she's letting everything around her um, happen and the same here but she is m more or less meditating and she's one with uh, with herself with the moon her emotions her psychic uh, um, her, her, her being herself she's meditating now that's the sight that you have perhaps you are meditating and sitting in thought and coming together and contemplating what you are going to do so it is quite a meditative um, and thinking uh, contemplating week for you Virgo um, as to what is going to happen or what you want to happen if your wish does or c is presented to you or does come true how are you going to carry on perhaps you're going to take time out to contemplate about that um, but I would suggest open your heart take the blindfold off and enjoy what you have around you now you have the page of cups you will receive news okay you've got the page of cups and you've got the page of stone so that's pentacles and that's cups the vessels so you could get a message of love you could get news you could meet a cancer a scorpio or a pisces or you can meet um, a, a virgo capricorn or a taurus and you've got the seven of pentacles you have sown the seeds and you're waiting for them to blossom well it's the time it's here seven is also good luck and they it's re they are ready for harvesting so you like I said your wish is coming true it could be a uh, news about love it could be news about something that you're passionate about or it could be news about a job something materialis material like a new house or a new flat or a new study something that you can touch the overall energy is the king of swords doesn't he look dashing 
and the king of swords is a Gemini so it could also be a Gemini uh, you've got a lot of people and it could be an argument that you have Virgo with a Gemini or a water person or um, a pentacle person but he's air so if you do have um, an argument or a disagreement with somebody then uh, you might seek um, a judicial assistance okay because the king of swords he stands for clarity honesty justice and he could he is he's a wisdom communication and um, yeah so he, there might be a Gemini but it could also be a Libra or an Aquarian that could be assisting you to get clarity and justice if somebody has done you wrong because th we start off with competition or disagreements and, and it is quite an fiery card in this deck with exploding volcano uh, volcanoes and then you can also have the uh, four of swords and in the background on the other side there is arguments going on because that is the knight that's come back from the holy grail and the fights and everything and you you're taking your time out to rest <coughs> and you've been waiting for something good to happen but definitely there will be news or you could be meeting a new person or um, you might seek judicial advice there could be a new study like I said because you've got the pentacles the page of pentacles so there could be a new study or and you've got the page of cups so they could be bringing you news that uh, you, um, your application to join the university or the college um, has been accepted now the overall um, energy is the Sun the Sun positive this could be a study this could be a promotion this could be moving home this could be going on holiday okay you're in the limelight something is being illuminated and you need more in, uh, information Wow perhaps you've become uh, a king from um, a knight to a king even if you're a lady instead of being just the mum your super mum okay <laughs> you are uh, you know uh, love is in the eye of the beholder so is beauty so somebody's got an eye on you so this um, and again the Sun represents Leo so it could be a Leo it could be a Gemini but don't exclude all the other signs okay so you've got these are young people the pages are young people that could be teenagers to around 25 and then the Sun well that could be a, a Leo and uh, the King of Swords is Gemini but don't exclude the Libra and the Aquarius now <coughs> from the uh, animal Oracle uh, spirit deck you've got the rabbits now is a lucky time and it's 49 and 4 and 9 is 13 13 1 and 3 is 4 so this is an, an uh, uh, a proper foundations something new now is a lucky time a sunny meadow calls and rabbit and rabbit spirit appears to lead you out of your dark warren and into the light so that you can participate in a fertile and beautiful experience it may seem safe below ground but the magic happens when you come out and take the risk of being vulnerable and co-creating something new you are being invited into a new life that you have no experience with but have no fear today is also a time to be fruitful and productive as you enjoy rabbit spirit sunny and prolific energy at this time whatever you intend to bring to life will find fertile ground there are no mistakes really when you are co-creating with spirit so let new ideas spring to the surface 
knowing that now is a lucky time of tremendous possibilities wow look at this you've got the sunshine and what it says is um, yeah it is an intense energy and the sun is shining on you great stuff and anything the, the warmth of the sun will make it blossom and new ideas and that's what the king of air always has okay because he is wisdom ideas thinker communicator now the surrender card is surrender to the rest and sleep to prevent burnout slow down now that resonates with these two cards honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind body and spirit boom so I'm getting to here you cannot run before you can walk so take th think and these two cards th are also thinking and contemplating before you your wish can come true remember you're in the spotlight but you something has been illuminated as well okay so you need more information the Sun also means birth birth of a child or birth of a project your idea can come into ma the material world but you'll have to take the right action and you might seek advice from a legal advisor a bookkeeper I don't know what your idea is but it can materialize and you will get news you have a lot of people around you so you you might be networking that is also something that I am sensing well Virgo I hope it resonates with you if it doesn't then have a look at your moon sign and your rising sign and I hope to see you in the live sessions or if not in the next video I wish you a healthy and safe and beautiful week Take care and be blessed and stay safe. Please like and share as well. Thank you in advance.